Hello everyone, this is your homeboy once again, Larry Ayila of the Art and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. This afternoon, I'm at the Italian Garden, Kensington Park, London. I'm with a guest this afternoon uh, from Europe, precisely the Netherlands. Hello, Hilda from the Netherlands. Good afternoon. Kindly introduce yourself, please. Thank you, Landly. My name is Hilda Navavito. I come from Uganda. I am now in, living in Netherlands and then Hilda. I can see from your background that the weather seems to be nice in the Netherlands. It's nice and lovely, sunny here in London. Can you please step outside and let us um, have a feel of how Netherlands is? Thank you, Hilda. I can see the weather is nice and lovely just like we have in London here. It's nice and lovely in Netherlands. Can you tell us, what are you, why are you in the Netherlands? I ran out of my country, Uganda, because of the fear and the persecution I faced, because of my sexuality. Um, I'm in the Netherlands here, hap living happily. In the Netherlands, I've made a lot of friends. My experience as a lesbian in Uganda, it was horrible and I was suffocated all the time. First, I was disowned by my father. I had to, to come down and see how I fit into the society. So I, that's when I went into marriage and I lived there for some time. Yeah, so it wasn't a good experience. All my, my dreams were suffocated. I, I, I faced a lot of uh, violence in marriage and, and yeah, not until I decided enough is enough. So I had to quit Uganda and run away to Netherlands. But when I came into the Netherlands, it wasn't so easy life. But at least the time I've been here, I've been able to express myself and come out as a lesbian. It's easy for me. At first, it wasn't easy. But now it's easy for me to speak out that um, I'm a lesbian. And I've tried to make many friends who are like me, which makes me so happy. So I've tried to join some groups, uh, LGBTQI groups that I can experience and feel like family, which is not the case in Uganda. I've, I've joined groups like uh, Out and Proud, I've joined groups like Prisma Group, Utrecht, I've joined many, many groups. So these groups have, have tried to make me come and really accept myself. Though I had accepted myself, but it wasn't easy for me to come out. Now I can come out and speak out and say, yeah, I'm this and accept myself. The coronavirus uh, pandemic um, has brought a lot of challenges with it. Here in the UK, we've had guests on this um, channel that have shared their various experiences and how they have survived the lockdown. How have you coped with the coronavirus pandemic lockdown in the Netherlands? COVID-19, uh, which came early this year, uh, all the social gatherings were limited and life became a bit difficult, but due to uh, technology, uh, we have been having, uh, um, what we have been WhatsApping each other and, and Zoom, Zoom meetings and yeah, but uh, now, now, uh, now, like in the Netherlands, uh, the, the, the situation is kind of opening up. So we have started again our meetings and socializing each other, so life is coming back to normal. Well, uh, Hilda, I can see you are putting on the We Exist t-shirt. What does it mean to you? Uh, this word, We Exist, means a lot to me because it indicates a symbol that we exist. In Uganda, where I was suffocated, my feelings were suffocated and was not existing. I was like, sat on my, my rights were sat on, but now I exist. I'm a Ugandan, a Christian Ugandan. I'm an African, I'm, an, I'm a Lesbian, and I do exist. You said um, you, you are a Christian. A uh, lot of Africans back home in Africa and here in Europe um they are of the opinion that you can't be a gay person or a lesbian and being a christian from my own perspective i'm a gay man from nigeria and i'm a member of the metropolitan community church in north london what's your take 
being a lesbian and a Christian? Oh, Lanley, thanks for the question. Actually, I'm a Christian and I'm a Roman Catholic. But uh, for, for my experience in the Netherlands here, even the IND can't believe it that I'm a Christian. Because I told them that it's like they don't believe that I'm a Christian and I can be a, a lesbian. But that's the truth. I want to ask you, to what message do you have for people back home and uh, here in uh, Europe? I want you to send a message in your Ugandan language. Can you do that for us, Hilda? Yeah. Kubanga mtu isa manja manja agaswaza agamala mwechiti wa mtu isa ulichimu temuagala Na enze wemba siku tide mwana, wemba siku temuana o, wemba si na chenko ze chibie chisinga abantu wabakole abantu wabikolo vele visingo uvunji Nga ze cheni na choka kwe kwa agala umutu muna angi kwe manja gadi Awomba sila baki chenko ze, echo choche ndi chomu chikiri ze buwento kubatu wali woku vada ila wetuli Icho chomu ina chikiriza na chiba uwe chitio. Netuwe ya gala na finga wa ntua wala betula vya mzini singa uwe ya gala. It's nice having you on our channel, Hilda. Would you want to say anything to our viewers, both here in Europe, in the Netherlands, United Kingdom, and both at home in Africa? Yeah, thank you out and proud for making me happy in the Netherlands and many, many other organizations. For, for, for welcoming me as a family. I'm so grateful. Yeah, I'm happy. It's been nice having Hilda from the Netherlands this afternoon. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please watch, share, and subscribe to our proud African LGBT YouTube channel. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.